Alright, so I apologize if this battle is like 10 minutes long, but trust me, it was a very good battle I had against Main Chains. It went back and forth and came down to the end. So please stick around for it, guys. You will not be disappointed by it. But yeah, for those of you who do not know who Main Chains is, he does upload narrated Wi Fi battles. So his channel link is going to be down in the description. Make sure to go check him out. Anyways, looking at my team, it's just six random things I wanted to use, to be perfectly honest. And if you're wondering why he has Amoongus on his team, it's because this battle was taken like three days before. Before Amoongus got moved up to Ryu, so yeah, it's still legal in the sense. But uh, looking at threats on his side of the field, Rampardos and Samurai are the two main things I'm going to have to watch out for. Just because Rampardos has that massive physical attack, and then Samurai, specially based or physically based, is kind of dangerous. So I'm going to have to watch out for that as well. Anyways, I lead off with Bastiodon as I lead it off with the Mischievous. I decided to switch into my Simiseer, knowing that if he goes for the Taunt or the will o -Wisp, I should or can take both of those. And the switch into Flare on is so obvious that what I'm going to do is actually go for the Hidden Power Rock. Now, I am modest max special attack, and that only does like 40% the Flareon. What the hell, Simiseer? I made you modest so you could do more damage, and you disappoint me like that? I, re I released that Simiseer after this battle. That thing had to go. That did not do anything to that Flareon. So. I'm going to switch into my Gardevoir, not wanting to bring in Milk Tonic on the options and maybe he does carry the superpower, which I know sounds odd and looking back at it, I should have brought in Milk Tank, but nothing I can do about it now. So he decides to bring in the Monferno as I go for the Thunder Wave, I'm then just going to go for the Psychic, which was a bit risky considering that if he was Focus Sashed and didn't get paralyzed, he would have been able to get up his rocks, but then he makes a very odd switch into Rampardos, so I'm thinking maybe he is Focus Sashed. As I bring in my Basiodon, he reveals to me that he has the Crunch. Now. Because I'm still thinking that he's Focus Sash, I decided to go for the Protect Scout to see what he wants to go for, as he reveals to me that he has a superpower. And the switch into Natu is very, very obvious, so what I'm going to do is stay in, predict him to over predict, and I'm going to go for the Toxic. Now, I didn't want to go for the Stone Edge because Stone Edge has a 20% chance to miss, where Toxic only has a 10% chance to miss, so I decided to go with the Safer Play. Also, it is still early on in the battle, and I know I will have use for my Bastiodon later on in this battle. So yeah, I decided to go for the Protect, thinking that maybe he would just want to leave it him for Death Otter, but no, he makes a good switch into Samurott. As it turns out, the Samurott is actually specially based, and as long as I keep Ludicolo around, Samurott actually shouldn't be that big of a problem, although I did say it was a threat, I meant it just once I lose Ludicolo, so yeah, sorry about that. And I'm going to make the very obvious play and go for the Giga Drain, and I wanted so badly to go for the Ice Beam, but I didn't want to risk it because I know if I can get a Rain Dance up after I get rid of this Amoongus, I can basically sweep through his team, so I switch out, not wanting to get spored into my Natu. Unfortunately, he makes a good play and actually goes for the Sludge Bomb. Now, I'm not wanting to roost up and get poisoned. I decided to bring in my Gardevoir. I'm actually able to trace the Regenerator ability from Amoongus, which means whatever damage I will be taking from this poison, I will be able to regain that lost HP, although I will still be poisoned. I do carry Heal Ball on my Milk Tank, so I'm really not too worried about it. As he brings in the Flareon, that Psychic actually does a whole lot more damage than I thought it would do, just because I run a very weird Gardevoir, it's like not max special attack but almost max special attack with modest nature with some special defensive ease so I can take hits and still dish out massive amount of damage which I know is very weird but in this battle it actually really really works. So I get a free switch to my milk tank which means I'm going to be able to get on my stealth rocks as I believe he went for the wish, went for the heal bow and then this time he's going to go for the wish again as I go for my own heal bow to get rid of the toxic on my Gardevoir. I'm then going to go for the body slam not wanting him to get a free switch into Rampardos just because that thing even though it is almost practically dead it still has that massive physical attack and can do damage to whatever I want to bring in on it so I have to watch out for that but he actually makes a separate play. Uh, brings in the mischievous now I thought that the overheat was too obvious and that he might want to stay in thinking I would go for the hidden power rock but no he makes the safe obvious play into Flareon as I foolishly go for the overheat I am going to be forced to switch out and he knows this which means he can get a free switch back into this giant threat this Rampardos and at this point it's basically a choice of what I want to die but he actually ends up over predicting and goes for the crunch now, because I revealed to him earlier on in the battle that I have Protect, I know that this turn he's going to predict me to go for Protect and not go for the Superpower or the Earthquake. So what I'm going to do is go for the Toxic, and at the amount of HP that Rampardos is at, it will die off to that Toxic. So yeah, man, Bastiodon! Oh my, this thing is seriously underrated. I don't know why people don't use this thing. It's fucking awesome. 
So uh, he's going to get a free switch into Monferno. Knowing that he might go for the Stealth Rocks, I decided to switch into my Natu. And here he goes for the Stealth Rocks like four turns in a row because he thought I would switch out. And I was actually about to switch out on the second time that he went for Stealth Rocks. But then again, because I toxic it, I really have no reason to switch out now just because I'm not going to be losing anything by staying in and the toxic damage is really going to be racking up on him. As he goes for the overheat, he is going to take himself and myself out, uh, take him out just because of the toxic obviously. But yeah, this means that his rocks will not be up and my rocks will be up which gives me a very good advantage. Um, the double down, I bring in my Gardevoir as he brings in his Samurott. Uh, hoping he doesn't have the Mega Horn for some odd reason, I decide to stay in, but I go for the Thunder Wave. and. <laughs> That was really, really stupid of me because throughout this whole battle, I did not take into consideration about the fact that Mischievous and Flareon can learn Heal Bell. And you're going to see that that really ends up costing me later on in this battle. But yeah, I stayed in with Gardevoir just wanting to get off as much damage on this Mischievous as possible. And knowing that I do need to keep my Gardevoir around for that Amoongus, I decided to switch out into my Bastiod on this turn. Knowing that most Mischievous don't tend to carry Hidden Power Fighting. Besides the Will-O-Wisp, I have nothing to worry about from this Mischievous, but I know he's more than likely going to go for the Taunt thinking I want to go for the Toxic or the Roar, so what I'm going to do is go for the Stone Edge. Unfortunately, I miss, but I don't know if I would have been able to take him out or not, so I don't know if it mattered or not, if you get what I'm trying to say, obviously. So, knowing you might just go for the Will-O-Wisp or the Pain Split, I decided to bring in my Simseer, and again, I was hoping he would think I would predict him to bring in Flareon, and staying with Mischievous so I could KO it with the Overheat. But he brings in the fucking Flareon. Why? Oh, I hate Flareon. I, I fucking hate Flareon. But I'm going to bring in Gardevoir as he actually ends up going for the Lava Plume. He forgot that I had Trace on Gardevoir. At least that's what he told me, which is why he went for Lava Plume. But yeah, I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. And this is where I had the biggest facepalm in any of my battles. Because he goes for the Heal Bell. And now the Samurott is no longer paralyzed. And uh, you're going to see in a couple of turns how much damage that Psychic would have done to Samurott. So knowing he can take the Psychic, he's going to stay in and just go for the Wish. As this turn, I can honestly stay in and spam Wish if I really want to. But he makes a switch in the Samurott. And look at this. If I had hit this thing with Psychic earlier on in the battle, he would have not been able to get this free switch in the Samurott and be able to gain that HP back with Wish. So yeah... Guys, take some advice from me. Don't be an idiot when you battle. Uh, that's basically it. And don't forget what moves Pokemon tend to carry. So I'm going to bring in Bastiodon because at this point, Bastiodon is the most uh, useless thing to me at the moment. Not useless, but it's not going to be the most helpful to me anymore. But yeah, Bastiodon put in some work in this battle, man. Definitely an underrated Pokemon, as I said earlier. Anyways, I'm going to get a free switch into my Gardevoir. And now it's just a choice of what he wants to die because after rocks everything that he has left on his team is going to get O-Code by the Psychic. So he decides to fight off the Mischievous as he gets a free switch back in the Samurott. And again I'm thinking for some reason that he has the Mega Horn. So what I did was bring in Simiseer basically as Death Otter because this thing did absolutely nothing throughout this whole battle. But now I can get a free switch into my Ludicolo, which was a bit dumb of me, in all honesty. I should have brought in Gardevoir, which would have just sped up this battle a whole lot more. But yeah, that was really stupid on my part. As I go for the Ice Beam, thinking he would bring in the Amoongus, he actually ends up bringing in the Flareon. And unfortunately, Ice Beam didn't do enough to a point where I will be able to take it out with another one. So I have to rely on Hydro Pump hitting, which thankfully it does. And with that Flareon gone, my Gardevoir is basically free to Oko this Amoongus and Oko the Samurott. As he brings in the Amoongus, I know this Ice Ice Beam will not be able to take it out even though he is max defense and max HP. I can get off a heavy hit on him as he goes for the Spore. This turn, the switch out is very obvious. Then again, the Sludge Bomb is also obvious as well. Above that, I do have Milk Tank at full HP which can easily just go for a Heal Bell to get rid of the Stun Spore on my Gardevoir if he does want to go for it. But he does end up going for the Sludge Bomb and I do trace the Regenerator and at this point, if he wants to lose Amoongus, he's going to leave it in, or if he wants to lose Samurott, he's going to switch it in. So he decides to leave in Amoongus, and because I did get the Regenerator, even though this Samurott is going to be in Torrent range, once I switch out and bring back in Gardevoir, I will be at an amount of HP to where I can live a Torrent boosted uh, Surf and be able to finish this thing off with a Psychic for the 2-0 victory in my favor. But I decided to bring in Milk Tank, just seeing if maybe I could live a hit. And even though I don't have any special defensive ease, Milk Tank is a monster and I'm going to be able to live that and finish it off with the Body Slam. That's going to be the 2-0 victory in my favor. 
Woo, we flip. finally finished the airing that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe as you please. Enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to go check out the video I uploaded last night by clicking the annotation on your screen. And yeah, I do believe I'm out of here. Later.